Well, here we are. We're starting a brand new week after a quasi-holiday weekend with St. Patrick's Day. How are you doing today? Are you ready to make success happen? Or are you kind of waiting for a better day for it to happen? You know, many times we return after a holiday weekend, even if it's only a two-day holiday, and one kind of small like St. Patrick's Day, and we're really not focused on what our true intentions are and in improving our life. If you feel a little bit that way today, you're probably feeling the way as millions of other people really are. So the question is, how do we turn it around now and go for it this week and make this week really positive, really good, and really productive? One of the things we really want to do, first of all, is decide how the outcomes of this week are going to come about. And the first thing we have to do is have a good outcome. So how do you want to end up on Friday? What do you want to have, have accomplished? And many times what we can do is literally backward engineer the week. So on Friday morning, what's got to be done by Friday morning on Thursday? What will be doing on Thursday and Wednesday and then back to Tuesday and back to today on Monday? So as we look at the long-range plan for this week on what we want to have as the outcome goal, one of the best things you can do is start thinking about what has to happen the day before that goal happens to almost have it finished or have it finished. And then on Wednesday, what has to happen on that day to have Thursday ready to prep the final details of whatever you want to accomplish by Friday to make this a great week. So today on Monday, what you want to do is get that long-range outcome kind of in line and in your mind on what you want to do this week and what you want to have accomplished by the end of the week. And then today, start looking at what you can do today to start that project or start that outcome or start that list and prioritize that list into three different categories, A, B, and C. A being the primary things that have to get done, B being things that could be sloughed off until tomorrow, and then C priorities, things that really aren't even related, you'd just like to do this week if time permits. If you can start prioritizing that way, what's going to happen is it's going to organize your mind better, you're going to feel better about getting this stuff done, and you're actually going to have a plan to get it done. It also takes an attitude. An attitude is starting Monday morning with an attitude of, this is a good week, I'm going to be in charge of this week, I'm going to keep from being a victim and not let any other circumstances get in my way. And remember, this week anything can happen. You could get a flat tire on the car when you least expect it. You know, you might get a phone call that you didn't want or something come in the mail that hedges you off into another direction you hadn't even thought about before. Be ready for those kind of outcomes. Because those things happen even if we have a primary outcome we want to accomplish. If you allow those things to derail you, then you are not planning properly. Always plan for contingencies that you hadn't planned on. And leave a little bit of escape route in your plan or in your day somewhere each day to manage those little details that you hadn't knew were going to come up. If you'll do that, you're preparing for success. If you don't do that, you're preparing to be defocused and not getting the week to come away the way you want it to. So let's think about those things today. And I look forward to hearing your comments right here at drgary.tv. And remember, jumpstart live, bright, and early, for me anyway, 7 o'clock in the morning right here on DGTV. I look for you to join me. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you a great Monday. Bye-bye.